is on your fingertip we will discuss about today current affairs 26th march of 2020 what is current affairs the two words current and affairs come together to give an interesting name to a subject of study current current means recent day to day life and affairs means event or issues etc therefore current affairs are the day to day incident and event around us technically current affairs is defined as a genre of broadcast journalism where the emphasis is on detailed analysis and discussion of new stories that have recently occurred or are ongoing at the time of broadcast current affairs involve around happening in different field related to the national international economy sports science and technology environment etc today is a day of national naft day national naft day is observed each year on march 26 this food holiday is celebration celebration of soft and chowy or sometimes hard and chamchi chati the first topic is election commission allow use of individual in to stamp home quarantined people the election commission has allowed health official to use non erasable ink to identify home quarantined people infected with covid-19 virus the election commission also said that the concerned authority should be instructed not to use the non erasable ink on the left hand finger of a home quarantined person the election commission has said that the officials should also be instructed not to use the ink in any other purpose individual ink is applied to the voter's finger after the voting to the prevent fake voting the ink was first made by the maharaja nolwadi krishnaraj wadiyar of mysore in mysore lac and paints limited company established in 1937 but it was the first use in the election process 56 years ago during the 1962 election now this company is also mysore paint and varnish limited this karnataka government company still make ink for every election in the country and also export it the company was selected in 1962 to manufacture ink for the election thus it was used for the first time in the third general election of the country what is a home quarantine home quarantine means separating yourself from other people at home quarantine is a word from latin its original meaning for is 14 days next topic is samir agarwal is appointed as ceo of walmart india samir agarwal is appointed as ceo of walmart india agarwal appointed will came into effect april 1st in 2020 he will report to drink one then prank executive vice president and regional ceo of asia and global sourcing walmart agarwal will will replace krish ayer who is to retire he has assumed the role of advisor to best price walmart india next topic is ara develop wheat variety with high protein ankhagar research institute ari scientists have developed a bio fortified durum wheat variety MACS 4028 the new wheat variety show high protein content the new wheat new wheat variety MACA 4020 the wheat variety developed by the ARA scientists show high protein content of about 40.7% the wheat has a better nutritional quality of zinc 40.3 ppm and iron content of 14.3 ppm and 46.1 ppm 
റെസ്പെക്റ്റീവ്ലി ഗുഡ് ബില്ലിംഗ് ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റി ആൻഡ് ഓവറോൾ അക്സെപ്റ്റബിലിറ്റി എം എ സി ഇ എ സി എസ് ഫോർട്ടി ട്വൻറ്റി ഈസ് എ സെമി ഡോർഫ് വെറൈറ്റി ദ എം എ സി എ ഫോർട്ടി ട്വൻറ്റി വെറൈറ്റി ഈസ് ഓൾസോ ഇൻക്ലൂഡഡ് ബൈ ദ കൃഷി വികാസ് കേന്ദ്ര പ്രോഗ്രാം ഫോർ യുണൈറ്റഡ് നേഷൻ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഫണ്ട് ടു എലിവേറ്റഡ് മാൽ ന്യൂട്രീഷൻ ഇൻ ദ സസ്റ്റൈബിൾ സസ്റ്റൈനബിൾ വേ ഇറ്റ് എയിം ടു ടാക്കിൾ ദ ഹിഡൻ ഹംഗർ ഇൻ ദ റൂറൽ ഏരിയ ഓഫ് ദ ഇന്ത്യ ഇസ് ബീയിങ് കണ്ടിന്യൂഡ് യൂസിങ് ട്രഡീഷണൽ പ്ലാൻ ബ്രീഡിങ് അപ്രോച്ച് ടു അച്ചീവ് കപ്ചോൺ മക് ഭാരത് ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ടോപ്പിക് ഇസ് ഐ ഐ ടി മദ്രാസ് ടു ഓർഗനൈസ് ഗ്ലോബൽ ഹൈപ്പർ ലൂപ്പ് പോഡ് കംപ്ലീഷൻ ഇന്ത്യൻ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ഓഫ് ടെക്നോളജി ഓഫ് മദ്രാസ് ഹാസ് അനൗൺസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ദ ഓർഗനൈസ് ഇന്ത്യ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഗ്ലോബൽ ഹൈപ്പർ ലൂപ്പ് പോഡ് കംപ്ലീഷൻ കോമ്പറ്റീഷൻ ദ കോമ്പറ്റീഷൻ ഈസ് ഓപ്പൺ ടു ഓൾ സ്റ്റുഡൻറ്റ് ഗ്ലോബലി ദ ഫൈനൽ റൗണ്ട് വിൽ ടേക്ക് പ്ലേസ് ഓൺ ദ ഐ ഐ ടി മദ്രാസ് ക്യാമ്പസ് ഇൻ ദ മന്ത് ഓഫ് ജൂലൈ ട്വൻറ്റി ട്വൻറ്റി എയിം ദ മെയിൻ ഒബ്ജെക്റ്റീവ് ഓഫ് ഗ്ലോബൽ ഹൈപ്പർ ലൂപ്പ് പോർട്ട് കോമ്പറ്റീഷൻ ഈസ് ടു റൈസ് അവയർനെസ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ഹൈപ്പർ ലൂപ്പ് മോഡ് ഓഫ് ട്രാൻസ്പോർട്ടേഷൻ ഇൻ ഇന്ത്യ ഹൈപ്പർ ലൂപ്പ് വാട്ട് ഇസ് ഹൈപ്പർ ലൂപ്പ് ഹൈപ്പർ ലൂപ്പ് ഈസ് ദ ഫിഫ്ത് മോഡ് ഓഫ് ട്രാൻസ്പോർട്ടേഷൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഹൈ സ്പീഡ് ട്രെയിൻ ദാറ്റ് ട്രാവൽ ഇൻ ദ നിയർ വാക്കം ടു ദ റെഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് എയർ റെസിസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് വിൽ അലോ ദ ക്യാപ്സൂൾ ഇൻ ദ ഇൻസൈഡ് ദ ട്യൂബ് ടു ദ റീച്ച് സ്പീഡ് ഓഫ് മോർ ദാൻ തൗസൻഡ് കിലോമീറ്റർ പെർ അവർ it convey the people of object and high speed hyperloop is an efficient mode of transportation it is expected that it will it will drastically reduce travel time over medium range distance next topic is cabinet approve the continuation of restructuring of rrb scheme the cabinet committee of economic affairs chaired by prime minister narendra modi approved the continuous to process of receptional of regional rural banks rrbs the cabinet approved the provided minimum regularity capital to rrbs for another year that is up to 2021 for those rrb which are unable to maintain minimum capital to risk wages asset ratio of cr crar of 9% which was set up per regulatory norms prescribed by the reserve bank of india background rrb introduce disclosure norm for crar of rrbs with effect from march 2008 based on a recommendation of dr kc chakrabarty chaired the committee a scheme of receptional of rrbs was approved with the cabinet on 10th february 2011 as per the scheme the national bank of agriculture and rural development nabard will identify the rrbs that require receipt receptional assistance to maintain the mandatory crir of 9% the scheme will provide receptional support of r rupees 2020 crore 2200 crore to 40 rrbs also an addition of additional amount of uh, rupees 700 crore will be given as a contingency contingency fund to meet the requirement of the weak rrbs particularly in the north eastern and eastern region the last topic is a four asteroid including 1080 foot on hurtling towards earth nasa the four asteroid heading towards earth in 2020 fv4 2020 fv 2012 xa uh, 133 and 2020 fv3 one among the four asteroid in the 1080 1280 foot wide asteroid which is reportedly even bigger than the paris eiffel tower the asteroid can destroy an entire city if it is hit in the earth first one is 2020 fv4 
2020 FE4 is the first asteroid that will fly past Earth to tomorrow. The asteroid is currently flying an estimated speed of 19,000 miles per hour. It has a diameter of 164 feet. It is expected to come closest to the Earth at the around 7 morning 7.7 a.m. EDT on March 26. The distance at this time the projected to be around 0.025 astronomical unit or about 2.3 million miles away. Second one is 2020 FP. The second asteroid to approach Earth tomorrow on 2020 FP, the asteroid measuring about 128 wide is currently flying at the average speed of 21,000 miles per hour. It is expected to fly past Earth at morning 7:39 pm edt on march 26th it will fly past from a safe distance uh, of about 0.03767 astronomical unit which is around 3.5 million miles away third one is 2012 x0133 2012 x a 1 33 or city killer as a being called as a third astronomical heading towards the earth it is biggest and fast, fastest among the four asteroid this asteroid measuring about 1008 feet meter wide it moving towards the earth with a speed of 53000 mile per hour it has been capability to destroying the entire city if he is in the earth due to the large size of fast speed the asteroid has been labeled as a potentially hazardous asteroid it is expected to approach earth at night 10.52 pm edt on march 26th it is closest approach would be from about 0.0453 astronomical unit around 4 million miles away the fourth one is 2020 fe3 the 2020 fe3 astronomy is the fourth and last asteroid to approach the earth tomorrow the astro asteroid with a diameter of about 59 feet it is expected to fly past our planet at 11. 07 EDT on March 26 it is flying at av- at an average speed of 50 15 miles per hour next topic is tang melt of meghalaya cave predicting northeast monsoon a study of revealed the connection between the northeast monsoon and el nino which is the help of rock formation in Mag- meghalaya The rock formation is cave near Chirapunji in Meghalaya was studied by research from us US University new evidence was found in the suggesting the possible influence of the state ocean waters in the far, far away pacific on india winter rainfall it record the connection between the winter rainfall among the northeast india and climate condition in the pacific ocean india summer monsoon june to september bring in the about 70% of annual rainfall in the country it is known as to be heavily influenced by the variability in sea surface temperature of pacific ocean this is a condition referred to as el nino southern oscillation a warmer than usual pacific ocean of the coast of south africa it is known as to, to suppress the su- summer monsoon rainfall in india thank you if one cannot enjoy reading a book over and re- over and over again there is no use in reading it at all prepared by jay cotonis a on study circle thank you